Yeah. You've been requested so many times over the years by me. I feel like you're like such an underground legend that so many people are curious about. I'm surprised you hadn't. I couldn't believe it when I typed Necro Vlad TV. No, but you were on it back in the day. Well, I could tell you about Vlad if you want to know about Vlad. Sure, let's start there. You want to start? <laughs> I mean, God, Vlad hates me. He does. Why? Because I threatened to beat the out of him once. Why'd you do that? Because remember back in the day when Eminem dropped Forgot About Dre? Yeah. Nowadays, everybody want to talk. They got something to do. They did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did So... That was around the time. Listen, I don't want Vlad to. I'm gonna. Vlad's gonna get shitted on right now, but I don't want Vlad to think I started to shit on him. It, organically, we're shitting on you right Vlad now. Vlad is my boy. Okay. So we're Vlad, Vlad, listen, Vlad. This is just for history. Vlad, we're, historical we're, we're, purposes. We're, we're, we're gonna organically rehash this. shitting on yeah. you right now because we're telling the truth. <laughs> right. Here's the thing. If, I don't think Vlad will take it too serious. If the tr yeah, he don't he don't give a fuck. No. Uh, if the truth shits on you, it's the truth. You can't be mad at it. Right. So um, this was around the time he was doing those Biggie mix CDs. Oh, so nobody old really knew shit, him. Yeah. It was before Vlad TV. Right. He had just won the awards where the source was like the he was doing bullshit remixes of other people's shit. Right. Nothing that I thought was original. Okay. And at the time when I was talking with Vlad, I don't know how we became friends, but he was trying to. I thought he was trying to bomb with me on some Jewish shit because mm. he's Russian. I'm Jewish. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. Like I'm, I'll be cool with you. You know what I mean? And mm. um, so. I noticed at the time he was really on my brother's dick. Like, you know, you know when you talk to somebody and they're constantly mentioning another man okay. instead of focusing on your business? Uh, so that started annoying me first. I'm like, yo, trying I'm trying to pushing get through to your brother? Maybe. Okay. Like, you know, oh, I really like nonfiction. I'm like, yo, but B, I'm talking to you right now. Let's talk right. about necro shit. What can we do to help the necro brand? Right. So anyway, Forgot About Dre comes out. Everybody's doing mix CDs now. 50 Cent is dropping them. Yeah. This is 2003, My Space Time. Oh. So I rap over Murder Your Life. I, 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 no, I do a song called Murder Your Life over the beat. Stab in your face with a butcher knife that's really long and make you feel the song when I beat you down to it. Don't care if I appear wrong, kid, I'll do it. I represent yeah. the death rap. I'm rapping brutal. Right. More brutal than Eminem. I get a million fucking plays on MySpace for this mix CD track. Right. I try to get Vlad. I send it to Vlad. Vlad's like, nah, not feeling it. <laughs> uh, Eminem did it better. Mm. I'm like, you motherfucker. Remember, back then at this time, if you dissed me, I was going to punch you in your face when I see you in person. Okay. Because this is that time. I'm coming up. I'm only, you know what I mean? I dropped I Need Drugs in 2000. Right. I'm insulted now because this shit is popping. So I'm like, you got to be hating. Right. And you're on M's dick. Because mm. you're saying my shit ain't as good as M's. But all my fan base is like, you body them on his own shit. Right. You got to hear it. People that know the track Murder Your Life, ask these guys, Murder Your Life, did I not destroy it? Yeah. As good as Eminem on... I can perform it live now and the fans will pit brutally. Mm. So anyway, I'm like, yo, Vlad, I'm going to fuck you up when I see you. <laughs> Vlad's like, you know, I don't even remember if I even convoed with him after that. So now remember, this is way before Vlad TV. Right. So he's never putting me on Vlad TV. Mm. So the only time I ever got on Vlad TV was when, shut your phone off, fuckers, <laughs> uh, is when I did a whole album with Cool G Rap. Are you familiar okay. that I did a whole album with G Rap? Right, yeah. Okay, called The Godfathers. Right. Uh, and we were kind of talking about Lord Jamar. Right. And Vlad leaves my name off the fucking title and just writes cool G rap while I'm sitting there with G rap. Wow. And we're kind of crapping on Macklemore because at that time Macklemore was pushing the whole gay agenda. Right. And remember, G rap is the legend for throwing F bombs. Right. Okay. Like if you go back to Stretch and Bobito days, G rap put out songs Break a Bitch Neck. Right. Hey, Mr. Mister, keep walking past while I'm beating on my bitch's ass. <laughs> like he was promoting fucking women up. Right. No disrespect to G. Right. That's, that's what influence. It's a different all, time, right? Bro, that's what influence dudes that rap hardcore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The ghetto Boys, G rap. Right. NWA. You know, it was like those three with a culmination of, of a, a necro rapping brutal. Because right. I. It's a little different. Those guys had major label deals. I ended up being called a misogynist by every female in the business. Right. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.